Now let's talk about charges on carbon. So charges on carbon can be a little different than what we see on some of the hetero atoms. One thing I want you to keep in mind if you see a charge on carbon is that it's basically taking the place of one hydrogen. So it could be a positive, a negative, or the single electron, which is a radical, something we'll talk about later. Um, if that's on a carbon, it takes the place of one of carbon's hydrogens. So if we have an uncharged single carbon molecule, here's methane, CH4. If that carbon has a positive charge, it's going to have one less hydrogen. If that carbon has a negative charge, it's also going to have one less hydrogen and it has a lone pair. So a couple things to keep in mind is that if you see a negative one of carbon, it has a lone pair. If you see a positive on a carbon, that carbon lacks an octet. It's electron deficient. That's a bit different than what we saw with nitrogen, where a neutral nitrogen has three bonds, positively charged nitrogen, actually has an extra hydrogen to get its formal charge. Both of these nitrogens have an octet. Carbon's different. When we have a positive charge on a carbon, it lacks an octet. And that positive, I want you to think of that kind of like a hole on that carbon that doesn't have enough electrons. A positively charged carbon is called a carbocation. A negatively charged carbon is called a carb anion. And you can do the formal charge calculation on any of these and you'll get this answer. So for this carbon, if we take carbon group four, minus three bonds, minus zero lone pair electrons, you get a positive formal charge. Same case if you do the carb anion, now we have this lone pair to count. So if you see a positive charge in a skeletal structure, let's say you're given this with a positive charge, you want to immediately know how many hydrogen are on that carbon. Well, if the structure wasn't charged and you're asked about that carbon, right now two bonds are shown the other two are implied hydrogen, so carbon has its four bonds. Well, since that positive charge takes the place of one hydrogen, this carbon only has one hydrogen on it. You should also know that this carbon bearing the positive charge, remember the positive doesn't count as a group. So this carbon has one, two, three groups it's sp2 hybridized. Okay, kind of on the flip side, if you have a carb anion, so you have this lone pair and a negative charge, there's still one hydrogen here. That Carb anion carbon has four groups. We have the bond here, the bond here, the bond to the hydrogen, and the lone pair. That carbon is sp3 hybridized. 